Hello booktube. Um, today we're going to continue with the fourth big wall bookcase. Um, this is the fifth and final shelf. Um, again, it's made up of history books. Uh, we're moving out of the ancient world and, and the Byzantine world and into the medieval world, um, then the Renaissance, and then we'll do some European countries. So, um, so this is part one. So the first book I have here is another National Geographic. I love these special books they put out. Again, this one doesn't have a dust jacket. And papers. The Age of Chivalry. Let me get without the glare there. It's a volume in the Story of Man Library, prepared by National Geographic Book Service, and this is from 1969. You'll see we'll have some of the Byzantine things there. See, they've got a fold out of the Bayou Tapestry. Uh, some working with stained glass. A fun volume. Then here we have a more special, specialized volume. It's called *The Medieval Traveler* by Norbert Oler. Here are the end papers. And uh, it was translated by Caroline Hillier. It's a Boydell Press, and this was published in um, 1989. And um, let's see. Here's the uh, where is the frontispiece? Is a 13th century traveling carriage. Uh, there are illustrations throughout. Shepherds were a familiar sight to travelers in the mountains, and were often the only guides in such areas. So let's we'll see here. So this is a story of medieval travel. And also by water. There's a bridge there. Right along, uh, Crusader Archaeology, the Material Culture of the Latin East. Some of those Routledge books, which I absolutely love. Uh, London and New York, Routledge. Crusader Archaeology, the Material Culture of the uh, Latin East by Adrian J. Boas. Published in Piece of chain mail. You can see that. So. Then this big old bruiser, Norman Davies, Europe, a history. There's Mr. Davies. Oxford, New York, Oxford University Press, 1996. So you have uh, basically a, um, like here's a page of the Middle Ages. You have, um, it's a survey covering a lot of territory. And here, a very famous book, Johann Hyozinga, The Autumn of the Middle Ages. No dust jacket, unfortunately. Uh, translated by Rodney J. Payton and Ulrich Momich, University of Chicago Press. Um, and let's see, it's based on a 1921 edition. And this is from 1996. Very well known book. It does have illustrations. And this is one I recently read, The Last Apocalypse, Europe in the year 1000, at the year 1000, James Reston Jr. I enjoyed this book. It's a survey, again, but with a particular subject. 
and that's the subject of the end of the millennium. Not the last one, the previous one. Uh, throughout um, Europe. And this here is actually book one. I'd like to find two. This is a shorter Cambridge medieval history by Pravit Orton. The later Roman Empire in the 12th century. I should be able to find this. This was commonly used as a textbook, I think. Uh, 1952, Cambridge at the University Press. Um, so here you go. There's maps. Uh, the oldest library catalog of Würzburg Cathedral. There's the House of Wessex. Now, covering a lot of centuries real fast. Here's a panorama of the Renaissance, or Renaissance, however you prefer to say it. A completely new and thought-provoking exploration of the era of reawakening, invention, invention and achievement, with more than a thousand brilliant illustrations. Um, there's the end papers. It's quite a heavy book, um, heavy paper. Harry and Abrams Incorporated, uh, publishers, and it's edited by Margaret Aston. So it covers art, science, all sorts of stuff. Exploration. So it is very heavily illustrated, which can be nice. And then finally, we have Renaissance People, Lives That Shaped the Modern Age by Robert C. Davis and Beth Lindsmith. And this is uh, the J. Paul Getty Museum, Los Angeles. And um, 2011. Here you see a picture of Erasmus, or a painting of Erasmus. So, Brunelleschi. These are all different characters from... Um, Tornabuni. Corvinus. Der. Isn't that beautiful? I've always loved that. Something as simple as that. So here we have Copernicus. William Tyndall. Translator of the Bible. Hans Holbein. John Calvin. Such a friendly looking fella. So, rather quick tour through um, bookcase four, the big wall bookcase, shelf five, which is the final shelf, part one. Thank you, booktube.